Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking at volley tips this week and a question I've been getting a lot and sometimes it's not even a question, it's, it's my lessons taking the liberty of choking up on the racket. And generally, I don't love that idea and here's why. If I go back to the baseline and I'm looking to have you know, my modern forehand clicking, especially if I get something in mid-court. Okay, you take a look at my racket there. The grip I have, I almost have my pinky a little bit off the grip. And the reason for that is that lengthening out the stroke and lengthening out my reach, having leverage, creates power. Choking up on the racket, we lose power. Okay, so when it comes to volleys, I guess where we're going with this is do we need a ton of power on our volleys? If I had that same grip that I just had on that forehand and kind of left a pinky off the racket and I went to volley, even with me, there's a good chance that I might get a little erratic with my volleys. Okay, so granted, I don't feel like I'm a candidate to be a choke up volleyer, but I think for a lot of you out there, if you're struggling with the control or the direction of your volleys, it's actually not a bad idea to maybe give yourself one index finger of lift up that grip and by shortening the racket, it's, it's really actually insane how much extra control you guys will have. And a lot of times I like to equate that to a guy playing baseball. You know, if, if we've got a home run hitter you know, going for the fences, a lot of times they'll have a hand that's kind of off the bat, but then you go to the, the opposite idea of that, which is a bunt in baseball, and those guys have their hands way up the bat because they're controlling that bat head. They're not hitting for power, they're hitting for control and direction. Okay, so while we don't need to go all the way up the grip to volley because we still need some reach, I think you guys will find if, if you go one index finger up that grip and you start volleying with a little less reach, you're going to find that you secure that racket quite a bit better in your hand. You won't have those volleys where the racket head starts dipping down at contact. You won't have those volleys that are taking off quickly from right to left. You're going to have a much easier time keeping that racket head on the tennis ball and therefore producing shots that you can trust where they're going and that you're not going to be over hitting them. Okay? So this obviously is not a video for anybody that feels like they've got really good success with their volleys with, with a full extension down the grip. Obviously keep that if, if you're enjoying that. But if there's any chance you guys need some help getting better at these volleys in terms of placing them, Try that little choke up move. I think that'll be a really, really good helper for you guys. All right? So that was the tip for the day. Hope that was super helpful. Please click like below this video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, as well as check down below me in the description of this video. You'll find the link to three free courses we've put together. Really great courses. Think you'll find them fantastic. All right, so until next time, be well. We'll see you soon.